Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. We are in a different scenery. We're in a different room. This is my beauty room where I store all of my hair products and I have held off from doing this video for a very long time now. I have had many people in my DMs on Instagram, on YouTube, like everywhere. They're like, hey, can you show us your product stash? And I'm like, my product stash is extremely excessive and you would think you're walking into like a Walmart or a Target when I show you guys the products. And the reason I've held off from doing the video is because I know I have an excessive amount of hair products. I, I am fully aware no one needs to have this much hair products. I understand but to my defense I am a curly hair influencer and I review tons of products and I'm always testing out different things to then bring out to my channel and, and on Instagram to share with you guys to recommend any products I think you guys should try out so that's part of it before becoming a hair influencer I did become a product junkie that's how I kind of found the fun of transitioning and trying to just figure out what works in my hair and what did it so I created a lot of different cocktails and a whole bunch of different things so I was buying a bunch of products back then as well um I like collections that's another thing I like collections so I don't like to just have one shampoo from this line one conditioner from this line a gel no I like collections because I think it looks better and I also like to see if the shampoo conditioner hair mask helps out the stylers or if there's a difference if I can cocktail it I also like to give the product the best chance possible to work so I cocktail a bunch of different things and I'm just it's just extra it's just just in the gist of it it's extra there's a lot of things here I've given a lot of things away my sisters and my mom they've had products um, but it's just legit excess because I would say I get natural hair care products at least three times a week so although I'm rotating things and giving things away there's still new things always coming in so that's why the <laughs> that's why this wall always looks crazy packed oh so well that's better probably should have done that earlier um, okay, so before jumping in, a quick disclaimer. Um, I might be doing a giveaway with some of these products because there is a lot of products that I feel like I have duplicates of. So I do want to do a giveaway. So just make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and you're following me on Instagram because I'm just going to be doing random giveaways with my favorites or products that I just have duplicates of. There are a lot of products that I have used and I've tested out maybe once or twice. So those are still there. All right. I think that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and get started. So let me just give you a quick overview of what everything looks like. I got all of these shelves here from Ikea. These are the Billy bookshelves and I just added extra shelving just so everything can fit. So there's a total of four bookshelves that I use to hold all of my products. I know what you're thinking. Oh my God. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Okay, so let's start up here with the first one. I am not going to give you guys a review of all of these products. I'm literally just going to show you what I have. And if anything catches your attention, you want me to do a dedicated video on it, let me know in the comments down below. I can do like wash and goes with like some of the, these products. I can share my favorite cocktails. All of that good stuff. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm just literally going to show you what I have and keep it at that otherwise this video will be extremely long and I can tell already because I have a lot of stuff it's going to be pretty long but I don't want it to be extremely long so let's just go ahead and get started up here I have Shea Moisture this is the Manuka Honey and Mephora Oil Collection I love this collection because it is very moisturizing and I have pretty much the entire collection if you move things back here if you take things off the shelf I have the custard I have the gels it's just endless in there there's just a whole bunch of um manuka and honey stuff that i use my favorite personally is the hair mask this is this works really well in my hair especially when i get a hair dye i like to go in with this mask because it is very moisturizing here we have a design essentials i have a few things on the shelf but i also have some things over there in here which i'm not really going to show you because they're just products that didn't fit up here um, maybe I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. I don't know. But this is the Design Essentials um, stuff. And then there's just some more stuff in the back as well. Here is Obia Naturals, which I've tried. I think they're Babasu. Oh, right here. 
Here is Obia Naturals, and I tried out the Babasu Deep Conditioner on my channel, but I haven't really tried out anything else. I remember I was so excited to get this for Black Friday, and I still haven't even used it. I have a couple things back there as well from um, Obia Naturals. Next here we have is the Curly Chic line, and I've tried this. I got this. I saw this at Sally Beauty, and I decided just to pick up the collection. I've tried this on Joy. Um, I usually use this line on Joy because her hair... Uh, it's, it's fairly finer than mine and I use this as just a one product wash and go um, and the jelly as well so I haven't really used it that much I've never tried it on myself so that is that here we have the Camille Rose Naturals Around the World um, Deep Conditioners. I have, I think I just have two of them, but I did collect all of the oils because I'm just an oil girl and I love all types of oils. So yeah, that's that. So this shelf I have majority here well everything here is Jane Carter I was a heavy heavy Jane Carter user especially with the curls to go line I love this line so much when it came out I was obsessed with it they sent me this line about two times and I gone through bottles of the elongating gel and the weightless leaving at the time I was obsessed I think this one's like pretty much empty where is it yeah, it's almost empty. I love the Curls to Go line. It smells really good. I always get a good wash and go when I use the Curls to Go line. So I love the Curls to Go line. Their styling cream, their co-wash, and I have a couple more things in the back. The They also have a, I don't think they have a hair mask in this collection. They have it for here. Yeah, here's the hair mask. So I have the yellow collection which is the the curl define cream this is like my favorite i love using the curl define cream i think i have like a bunch of them to be honest like back there there's like a bigger jug back there um here is the incredible curls uh leave-in conditioner the wrap and roll so the reason why i have so many jane carter um jane carter products is because i went to an event last year and they let her, they literally gave us a whole bunch of jane, Car jane carter solution hair products and they gave us goodie bags and you were able to just fill it up with your favorite with your favorite jane carter products so jane carter solution products so i stocked up on my favorite which of course is the curl defining cream and i really love their leave-in styler and styling smoother this was my favorite back in the day and I just use this so, so much. I am a big oil person, so I do have a couple of their oils back there as well. And of course, their spray slumber party. Oh, where is it? The spray creamy leave-in. It's great as a refresher spray. So I love that. All right, moving on to the next one. We have Carol's Daughter is all here. All of this right here is Carol's Daughter. Carol's Daughter has also been one of those brands to just send me a bunch of stuff um, whenever they do new releases or anything like that. So I have a lot of Carol's Daughter. I was obsessed back in the day with their uh, creamy co-wash. Ah, dropping stuff. Okay, there goes the other one. Um, I don't find it right now. It's probably in the bathroom. But there, it comes in like the red packaging. It looks just like this. It's just the creamy co-wash. Here is red. I am obsessed with that. I used to use it heavily back in the day and it just performed so, so, so well on my hair. This was one of my latest pickups actually. I picked this up about a month ago in Walmart, I believe. This is the Coco Cream Curl Enhancing Moisturizing Butter. I use this one. Where is it? Not the velvet mask. I used... Where is it? I don't... Okay, so here is the, croy, the the cream that I was talking about. This was also one of the newer releases. This is the, cor the Coil Enhancing Moisture Butter, which I honestly am obsessed with. Like, this gave me such great results. I love the way it worked. I just haven't found it. Like, when you have so many things, like, I forget that these are good products. And I haven't used them in a while, but I remember when I did use it, my hair was super soft and defined i do also love hair masks so i make sure that i have a hair mask from every line if they have it i'm just obsessed with masking and i think it's very important so i do have the velvet cream hair mask which i also loved using oh and of course an og hair mask now that i'm looking at it i remember this is the almond milk ultra nourishing hair mask i've gone through tubs and tubs of this back in the day this stuff smells good and it leaves my hair feeling like butter if you see this, grab it because it is such a good hair mask. I kind of messed up the flow here. I don't know what I did. I like things to like look organized. 
All right, moving on to Curl Junkie. I don't really use Curl Junkie. I just have two products from them. This is the Pat and Pusha, the hair styling gel, which I've seen on Naturally Curly. It has really great reviews, so I picked that one up. And then I also picked up the, what's back here? I don't even see these things anymore. This is the Daily Fix Cleansing Hair Conditioner. I was into a heavy, heavy co-washing stage which I just got over because of Sultanicals, but we'll talk about it when we get there. Um, but I was into co-washes, so I pretty much bought every co-wash I can find from all hair brands. So Curl Junkie happens to be one of those brands. So I have that. That is Curl Junkie. Now moving on to As I Am. This is their new collection. I honestly, when this came out, I was so thirsty to get this collection and I really wanted to get it. Got it and I still have not used it. I think I just used the Grow Wash. I don't even remember it, but it's everything is pretty much brand new. So if you've tried it, let me know if you like it and if I should like carry up and jump on it and try it because I have it here. I just haven't tried it. Moving on to the Eden Body Works new Papaya and Castor line. This line literally just came out a couple months ago. I got it in my PR and I also have not tried this collection yet. It looks very inviting and it looks very, very promising. Um, they have very unique names and I'm just interested in trying it, but I have not tried it. So there's Eden Body Works. All right, moving on to OGX. Now, OGX is one of those brands that they always keep me stocked. <laughs> like I have given away so many OGX products you guys have no idea they just are literally the best and they always keep me fully stocked anytime I'm gonna do a video for them they send me like a huge box <laughs> of products which I'm grateful for but I've had to really give some away because I don't need <laughs> 15 billion finishing mist even though I have them here these are all literally the same exact ones I've given away I would say like 20 of these um, but they keep me stocked. My favorite curling cream from um, OGX is definitely this guy right here. So this one I'm a little stingy. I don't really give this one away because I love the way it works in my hair. And it's one of the few OGX products that really give me moisture and curl definition. So I always am stocked with those. And of course the dry oils. I love, love, love the dry oils. They just, it's just, I've never had an oil anything like this. It's literally a dry oil. So it's not sticky, it's not greasy. Leaves my hair feeling nice and shiny, so I got a couple of those. Moving on to Uncle Funky's. Now, I loved Uncle Funky also back in the day. I think my favorite product from them is the Curly Magic. It's a great summer gel, and I think everyone, everyone should have this in their collection because it is just a phenomenal gel. I have a bunch of those gels in different sizes. I have the, the small one, which you just saw, the bigger one, and then the huge one back there, which thanks to Curl, thanks to Uncle Funky's daughter, they hooked your girl up because I was going through bottles and bottles of this gel and they just blessed me with a really big one, which I didn't even know they had. So I was really happy when that came in the mail. Um, and then this is the rest of their collection, the Defunct, the Glossy, which is something that I use a lot. Um, and the Heal and Renew, which is one of their later products. This is a deep conditioner. I believe I did a Mask Monday on it. Um, using this one, it's like a protein one. Um, I remember liking it, so I have to revisit that for sure. Here we have more As I Am products. This was also another collection that I was really thirsty and I really wanted to get my hands on it and I really have not tried it. Um, I have the co-wash here as well. I have pretty much the entire collection. I have the oils. The only thing I think I didn't get was the shampoo and conditioner because I didn't really, I wasn't into it. Um, but I do have a couple leave-ins and I have the actual conditioner. So that is from their new blue line. Moving on over, we have the Insta Famous Bounce Curl, and I've used Bounce Curl a few times. I haven't mastered it, so I think that's why I kind of just leave the light cream gel here. Mizbo was nice enough to send me the bigger one as well. Um, I have this one, I've used it a couple times about halfway, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I like it, I just haven't mastered how to properly use it, so that's why I don't really use it as often. Um, I have their shampoo, I have their clarifying shampoo and their conditioner. Um, I don't have the new releases from the line. I know she made a couple new products. I might have to get my hands on them. We will see. And then I'll keep you guys posted on that. Um, here is Lotta Body. They also did send this to me PR in PR. Um, this is their newest collection. I have not tried it, but I love the color and I love the way it looks. So I also have it here on the shelf. So moving on over, we have made by beautiful and i have this is majority made by beautiful i have most of this collection here 
again this was one of the products that if you scroll down to my instagram i was always talking about made by beautiful like i love the true leave-in conditioner and the co-wash these are two of my personal favorites from the line i still love them i still use them not as frequently but i still do use them and i like these um this dual right here i like the leave-in and i also like the co-wash um their hair mask and pre-poo detangler are amazing have enough slip they're just great i love using this on joy i went through two bottles of this already and this is the newest one that i have here anytime she comes over or when i was living in my parents house i would do her hair with this um this is such a bad idea because i'm going through <laughs> i'm doing what i said i wouldn't do like give you guys a breakdown of everything but when i look at things i'm just like oh my god i remember this product okay i'm out of breath i'm gonna try to speed it up here we have afro g afro g i love the afro g um two protein step treatment and the balancing moisturizer that's probably the most things that i use from afro g they did send me out their prolific line which unfortunately i have not tried out they did come out with a new leave-in um there's a bunch of new stuff here which i still haven't tried but when i do use afro g i'm grabbing the two protein step the two-step protein treatment because it just works really well on my hair especially when i'm going to diet and when my hair feels like it needs that boost of energy that boost of just curls i just grab this line and i know it's going to work phenomenal moving on to cream of nature cream of nature is also one of those brands who have hooked me up completely this entire shelf here is cream of nature's i love 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 the coconut milk line and i love the pure honey hair mask it's a, such a good replenishing hair mask and really just brings your hair back to life now they did extend their honey collection and they added the shine mist and the curl activator which is back there have not tried it and I have not tried their detoxifying line either, which I am just looking at it. I kind of want to try it because that mask looks really good. I've never done a clay mask to my hair, so this looks really yummy. I want to try it. Here we have Curl Mix. And Curl Mix is one of those brands that also hooks your girl up. And I love them. Their products are amazing. Super lightweight. Super just... I just love Curl Mix and I love the way they work in my hair. I think... You guys should definitely check it out. They're a little up there in their prices, but honestly, it's really worth it. I'm not going to take this one out because then I have to waste product to squeeze it back in there. But I have pretty much everything from Curl Mix. They did have, they did come out with a shampoo and a conditioner. I also have that in there somewhere. I'm not going to move it because then I have to put all that back. So that's Curl Mix. So next we have some more Eden Body Works. Eden Body Works, this line right here, if you know you know this was like the holy grail also back in the day i was a heavy 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 eden body works user i still have a little bit of this stuff left i used to love the curling cream this stuff was like my go-to i barely have anything left in here and my all-time favorite is their freaking co-wash if you have not tried the eden body eden body works co-wash you are missing out their co-wash is the bomb and of course the jojoba oil uh deep conditioner which i just did a video on the other day that stuff is amazing i also have from their other line the um armin and marshmallow line their deep conditioner again i am a big deep conditioner user so i love deep conditioners got a couple of these they sent me a couple of them um the hydrating serum oh my god if you haven't tried this you need to try it because it's also really good i have bottles and bottles and bottles of the hydrating serum because girl it is so good it's not really like a serum it's more like a jelly i don't really know why it's called a serum but it's more like a jelly and i also have the leave-in conditioner which is really creamy it is back here somewhere oh i should probably put this one in the front so i can use it and not open a new one duh and then right here is their creamy leave-in conditioner which is also a really good leave-in conditioner because it is very creamy and i have a couple of those as well and here we have more eden body works this is the hibiscus and honey line um this is my favorite from the line i just used it in my last video the hair tonic liquid vitamin i don't know what they put in this stuff but it just makes such a difference in your hair so i really do like that i have a couple of them here i have the custard back there the conditioner and the shampoo they sent me this line a couple of times for some reason so i do have a lot of the same things back there all right now we are down to the last one from the first shelf this video is going to be super long <laughs> 
All right, and this is all Maui Moisture. Now, Maui Moisture is one of those brands that um, I, when I first saw it, I was like in love with it. I was like, oh my God, so many clean ingredients, all that good stuff, but I haven't actually really dived into the line. The only thing that I am obsessed with from Maui Moisture is their deep conditioners. I remember one time I tried the Agave one. I was obsessed. I tried the... Um, the bamboo fortifying mask, I was obsessed. So I reached out and I was like, hey, can I try some of your other hair masks? They sent me a ton of hair masks. I've used a couple of them, um, but I, I am fully stocked with their hair masks. They are the most creamiest hair mask, super creamy, super affordable. And I definitely think you guys should check out um, Maui Moisture's hair mask specifically because those are amazing. Moving on to Pacifica, I actually have not really dived into this line for some weird reason. I've tried their deep conditioner. Most of them here are actually deep conditioners that I've tried. Um, I think I just tried one, actually. What am I talking about? I just tried, I think, the Curl Nourishing Mask. I think these are still brand new, but I do have a couple of Pacifica products here. They have such cute packaging, so I really don't want to use them up, but there is Pacifica. And then these two kind of loners. Oh, wait, there's more. There's another one back here. Here we have the Shea Moisture Frizz Free Conditioner, the mask, the gel cream, and behind here is the shampoo. Nothing interesting, nothing exciting. I do, however, love their hair mask. Shea Moisture, Shea Moisture kills it with the hair mask, so that's always a good. And I put the shelf wrong, which it bugs me every time, but I'm not redoing it. I'm not redoing it, so let's make pretend that's white. And since I'm already down here, I might as well just share with you guys my obsession with Sotanicals. When I tell you I love Sotanicals, I'm seriously not joking. Like, I am fully stocked with Sotanicals because they are just currently my favorite brand at the moment when it comes to shampooing, conditioning, and masking. Their stylists, I have a little love-hate relationship. There's some that I like. Um, oh, and their leave-in conditioners, but they're actually like gels and stuff like that. I'm a little hmm, side-eyeing them, but for the most part, their shampoos, conditioner, leave-ins, and hair masks have my heart. So that's what you majority see let's start down here here are most of their just just a mixture of hair masks deep conditioners um butter shampoos which are my latest obsession and, I, and i've kind of kicked out of the way co-washing when i came across this like i fell in love with shampooing and i've been more consistent with it because it feels like a co-wash it does not feel like a shampoo at all these are some leave-ins i have some kink drinks some leave-in conditioners some ACV clarifying anything that they've thrown out I've pretty much gotten um, deep conditioners more deep conditioners oils which I love I love their oils so I have a couple of those and then of course their regular size jars because I'm extra I had to anytime they have a liter sale I'm like the first one to be mad thirsty and get it just in case they never just in case they like discontinue the product i'm good because sotanical is known for doing that they will throw out a bomb product and then you won't be able to get it ever again so i like to make sure that i'm fully stocked with my favorites so in case they go out i have backup all right so that's sotanicals um next here we have not your mother's and not your mother's does my personal favorite deep conditioner which is the matcha green tea wild apple blossom this stuff right here you need for sure because it is such a hydrating hair mask it smells delicious and it's just you just need to have it and it's affordable so i have a couple of their lines here the blue line i have the blue line the pink line i see a darker blue line i see the green the red all these like really cool stuff they've sent me a couple products as well which i'm really grateful because i do love not your mother's their um conditioners are amazing especially this guy right here the curl defining one uh freaking amazing so i love that as well and then their latest um curl talk line which i have the full collection of as well the co-wash is amazing all right next here we have can two and Cantu has a shelf, a shelf and a half-ish type of thing. Um, I worked with Cantu very heavily in 2017, 2018. I was in their campaign. So they definitely hooked your girl up. I bought a couple Cantu products on my own. But for the most part, they really hooked me up. And I'm really happy because Cantu is just one of those lines. They're OG line. They work. 
They're curly girl friendly and I love it. My personal favorite line is of course the texture line. This is their newest one. An amazing line, super affordable. You can find it at Ulta. They're just really, really great. And of course, the coconut curling cream, which is one of my favorites, and the curl activator as well. And here we have some more Cantu products. Moving on to Camille Rose Natural. This is their, their uh, what is it called? I don't even know what to call this collection, but... Oh, there it is. The leave-in collection. Duh. Um, I have the honey one and I have the latte, which is my personal favorite. I have two as backups. I love the latte as well. Here we have My L Organics, which is all right here. My L Organics is also one of those brands that hook me up. <laughs> Anytime they have like a new release, um, she definitely sends me over some products to try out, which I love. I love their pomegranate and honey collection which is one of those lines that I just, I, I love it. It smells really good. It works every time I use it, especially their shampoo and conditioner duo. I love this one. You should totally check it out if you haven't. And the latest thing I've tried out is the curl cream, which I kind of want to review because I had a little love-hate relationship with it, so we'll see. Um, but that's back there as well. I don't know what this is. Oh, and of course, the hair mask from that collection. My OGX fam, of course, gets their own shelf. They hook it up. So I have endless OGX products back there. And I don't really use these because these are limited edition. They did the collaboration with Candy Johnson and with Nicole. Hers is around here somewhere. Um, but I don't use these. I just use these for decoration. These right here because they're limited edition. Um, but the Argan and Oil is OG. OG, OG. So I always have these and whenever I need a conditioner with slip, blah, 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 all that good stuff, I use OGX. Oh, this is so long and we still have a whole bunch more to go. All right. Up here is Camaro's Natural. They have their own shelf because they are worthy of having their own shelf. They're such a great brand. So many gems in this collection. Um, being, of course, the first one being, of course, the Curl Maker and the Almond Twisting Jai Butter. Hello, I am stocked because I love, love, love the Almond, Almond Jai Twisting Butter. I think it pairs well with lots and lots of different stylers. I have their Algae No Deep Conditioner, which of course is one of my favorites as well. And then their new collection, which I actually really wanted to get. They sent it to me twice and I still have not tried it. What is wrong with me? Moving on to curls. Here I have cat their Cashmere and Caviar collection. I went to DR and we... um we're focusing around this new collection. It was a great experience and I ended up really liking the hair mask from this entire collection and the serum. This is their new collection that they just came out last year, Black Friday. I got my hands on the collection, still have not tried it, although I saw many, many great things about it. It just, they're super expensive now. I got it on the sale and it was like 25 bucks and now each of them are like 25 bucks. So I have not used it because if I love it, I don't know if I want to repurchase it on my own. So yeah. And then here we have Garnier. I love their one minute mask. I have pretty much all of them because they're just so good and you can use it as a leave-in, which I really don't, but um, I like this. Here we have Eco Styler Gel. Ada put me on to this. She was going hard for this and I ended up picking it up. Haven't used it in a while, but I remember when I used it, I loved it. And then some more curl mix. They, they sent me the body butter and the serum, which looks cute up here. Here we have some more Camaro's natural products. This is the coconut water line. This is also another one of those lines that they sent me a couple times. I don't know if it was on purpose or by mistake, but I do have a lot of the deep conditioners and curl setters back here. I'm pretty stocked with that collection, so I still haven't tried it, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, actually, I think I did do a video on the treatment. I think I did a video on the treatment. I just haven't tried this styler. So maybe I will try that very soon. Here we have Riso's Curls. I love the packaging of this line. It's just very cute, very girly. Um, unfortunately, I have not tried Riso's Curls, but I've seen many, many good reviews on them. So I want to try them. Here we have Texture ID, which they also sent me this collection when it first came out to Sally Beauty. I've tried the hair mask, obsessed, but my most biggest obsession was their leave-in conditioner. It's a very creamy and milky conditioner, so I ended up picking up another one because I really liked the way it worked in my hair. Here we have Briogeo, we have the OG one, and then we have the Curl Charisma line. They also send this to me, and it looks very, really promising. I still have not tried Briogeo. 
Moving on to the main choice. The main choice has their own shelf and a half. I love the main choice. I think I have not, I think only one product I tried from the main choice that I did not like. I don't see it at the moment, but I think it was like a deep conditioner or something, a pre poo something like that. And I didn't really like how it worked in my hair. Other than that, the main choice kills it. This is my favorite gel, Tropical Moringa. Are you kidding me? Like, you need this one in your collection because it is amazing. I love the smell of it. I love the Heavenly Halo. Uh, Asian Egyptian, the gel is also really good. It's back here somewhere. There we go. And then there, do it for the culture. I have just picked up the Cheers collection, the Gelato. Um, their OG uh, line, the first line that they came out with. I have the Four Leaf Clover, which I was also excited to try. I got it, still haven't used it. Here we have Honey's Handmade. I've seen Honey's Handmade. I've seen them on Instagram, so I got a couple of their products um, test out. I was really excited to try out the line, but I still have not tried it. Down here we have some Talia Wahid. They were also nice enough to hook me up when they released this line. I don't think I've tried it yet. I don't think so because they all look pretty new. I haven't tried it, um, but it smells delicious. And when they sent me the PR, it came with a little apple, which I thought was really cute. Moving on to Palmer's. Here is Palmer's. Palmer's is also one of those OG brands. I used to have a lot of Palmer stuff. Pretty much downsized them because I don't really use them as often anymore. Um, the, late, the newest product that I got from them was the Flaxseed Hold Me Down Gel. I was excited to get it, but I still have not tried it. Moving on to Weedad. Now, I love me some Weedad. Can you tell? Like, can you tell? I love Weedad so, so much, especially their Triple Treats Deep Conditioner. My favorite deep conditioner of all time. It is such a good one. I've mentioned this countless times on my YouTube channel and I think everyone should try it out. It's higher end, but I promise you it is worth it. Weed Ad is also one of those brands who great thankfully spoil me and they're always keeping me stocked. Always send me their new collection. The newest one is the Vital Curl line. They send me the entire collection. So I have a pretty good amount of Weed Ad products and I love it. They work really, really great. Moving on to Jesse Curl. Um, I also got a couple Jesse Curl's products sent to me as well. They sent me over um, their collection and I got them here. I got some big ones too. The Rocking Ringlet, Rocking Ringlet, Ringlet Styling Potion and the Spiralicious Styling Gel and their Deep Conditioning Treatment. Just a bunch of this stuff from their line. Um, and I've actually gone through it. I went through the little bottle already and I've been using this one. I remember I was obsessed with it for a summer. But it's such a good uh, styling potion. Like It just works really good because it works in humidity. So totally recommend for you guys to check it out. You cannot be a curly girl without having any Diva Curl products. Diva Curl products are just, they're just amazing products. Diva Curl fam literally always hooks me up as well. And I'm so grateful because I love me some Diva. I got some Diva Curl products here and then I have the leader ones down here. I go through Diva very, very frequently because I love how they work in my hair. I put them on pause for Sotanicals right now because I'm on a Sotanicals like phase right now. But before I was going through bottles and bottles and so they started sending me the bigger ones which I was so happy um, because I would go through them like crazy. So here is Diva. We're in the last shelf guys. We're in the last shelf. Let me start from the bottom up. Um, here we have Carry Care and here is Carry Care. I worked with them a couple years ago, tried their stuff and I did I did like it. Um but I wasn't crazy about Carry Care, so they kind of just chill in here. I may have to revisit them and give them a try again just to see what they're about, but I got Carry Care. Here is some more Eden Body Works. I told you guys I was love me some Eden Body Works. They sent me this collection a couple times, gave it away and I feel like I still have a bunch of Eden Body Works stuff. Um, but this is a hair and body butter, so I kind of use this on my body sometimes too because I had a lot of jars of this as well. Here we have some more As I Am stuff. Um, these are from their original line, the butter cream, the curl defining cream, their jelly. There's just, just a bunch of them. Their co-wash, of course, which I need to finish because it is almost out. And that's that. Here we have some TGIN. Um, I don't really have many things from them. This is some from their newer collection. This is the Miracle Repair Curl Food. I want to get the protein one because I love protein, so I want to try that one out. This is the Honey Hair Mask. I have a couple of the jellies and the leave-in conditioners back here. 
Moroccan oil sent me some stuff as well. So I do have the Moroccan oil stuff here and here. I have not tried it, um, but it looks and it smells really good. Um, Genador Beauty, that was such an Instagram brand. It's been years since I've tried them. At least that's what it feels like. Um, I got them when I first started transitioning. That was like one of the few, the first brands to send me hair products and I was so excited. I really did like the gel. I just felt like it was a little bit too drying. So I, um, haven't gone back to use it. I might have to use it again to add an add a leave-in conditioner in there and see how that works. And then we have Lust. I love this brand, okay? It's kind of hiding back here, so I don't really see it. But LUS is such a good brand. They just sent me their new deep conditioner, which I haven't tried, but it looks really promising. And they also sent me an oil, which I haven't opened. Um, but yeah, they have their shampoo, the conditioner, and the all-in-one styling cream. This gave me a really great wash and go as a one product wash and go line i'm just dropping things left and right here moving up we have ozzy i've been working with ozzy a couple times this year you guys have seen me do some posts with them their new curls um they kind of revamped their packaging which i like better because it's more like girly and like super cute so i've been using a lot a lot of ozzy i love the three minute miracle deep conditioner that's just a product i'm always going to have in my collection especially for the summertime because i put this in right before going to the pool and it doesn't dry out my hair as much as the chlorine would if I didn't go in with anything. So I totally recommend for you guys to check out Aussie 3 Minute Miracle if you haven't already because it is a very popular product in the curly hair community. Um, they have the detangling cream. I recently picked up the, an instant free gel because I fell in love with the line. I was working with them so they did send me a bunch of their products. Um, but I did not get the freeze um, gel so I did want to try it out with their, um, what is it called? with the miracle curl staining cream which i love that one and the mousse together ugh, just a perfect wash and go so i feel like if i add the gel now for the summer it will give me more of a hold all right so moving on oh my god i have not used this brand are you kidding me this is the brand what is this brand called oh, i don't remember what this brand is called it's been such a long time they did send me these products a while ago for some reason, I can't, like, what is the brand called? I can't figure out the name. I can't figure out the name, but this was an old, um, this was also one of those brands that first sent me products in the beginning. They're like an Instagram brand, I, I believe. I don't know how much they've evolved now because I have not even seen them on social. If you know their name, comment down below because I really want to know what the brand is up to and if they came out with any new things. I was so excited at this collection, but I don't remember if I used it. A lot of these products look brand new. Um, I probably used the hair mask, of course. That's like the first thing I dive into. Um, but other than that, I haven't really tried anything from the line. I might have to revisit this one as well. Here we have Honey Baby Naturals. I was so excited to get Honey Baby Natural as well. Still haven't tried it. Ava raved about this collection and she was like, girl, you need to try Honey Baby Naturals. And I still have not tried it. I have the entire collection. I have everything from Honey Baby Naturals, but just for some reason I have not reached for it. So I need to get my butt together and try out this brand. Here we have a newer brand, which is Oribe. This is more of a bougie brand. They are super expensive and their packaging is just so luxurious. I just have not tried it. Mine looks so dusty. Lord. <laughs> Yeah, so they sent me a couple of the things. They have a deep treatment mask, which I want to try to do it as a mask Monday if you guys want to see it. But I know it's pricey, so yeah. And then this corner is kind of hard to get into because it's all the way down here. Then we have Be My Curls, uh, Bella Curls, not Be My Curls, Bella Curls. Um, they also sent me a couple of the things from their line. They only have three products so that's only what that's like what i have here i have aquas prime never tried them but i've seen them i believe they send that to me i haven't tried it but it looks like it might work and then here i have curl keeper back in the day i was obsessed with curl keeper so i have a bunch of curl keeper stuff all right moving on to shay hello shay hey hey shay was my favorite brand Back in the days, the first brand I ever used when I got curly, because Sunkiss Alba always used Shea Moisture. So I always used Shea Moisture, 
Thankfully, Shave Moisture Fam always keeps me stocked as well, so I have tons and tons of the line. I've worked with them in the past, so they've hooked your girl up with a bunch of products. My favorite one was the Detangling uh, Extra Moisture Detangler and this gel cream right here which I loved but I just hate the smell. I love the way it works but I hate the smell. Unfortunately the product has been discontinued but I am stocked. They have a lot. I just can't get over the smell so I don't really reach for it as much anymore. Up here we have Urban Hydration um, and I've been using Urban Hydration their co-wash conditioner because it's really nice and creamy. They have tons of stuff. Their honey, their honey gel is really really good so if you see it in your TJ Maxx or um, Marshalls try it out because it is one of those really good hair masks we have some more palmers here their latest collection the natural fusions line i think i reviewed the deep conditioner on my channel on a mass monday and i liked it so i just haven't tried the stylers or anything yet from them but there's palmers and of course some more shea moisture i love this leave-in conditioner super creamy and it just Works as a great refresher spray and this protein hair mask as well, which I've mentioned as one of my favorites. Here we have some Kiss products, which I did do a video on um, the Kiss products. I did a wash and go showing you guys how I use this brand. The hair mask, of course, is my personal favorite and the hair oil is really nice and thick. They send me the collection twice, so I do have backups. Curls, of course, they're OG Blueberry Bliss collection it was one of my favorites at the time when it came out. I use this stuff consistently, especially the hair mask because that's just what I gravitate towards. And the scalp um, treatment, this gives you like that little tingling sensation. So I love that stuff so, so much. Um, and of course, the Blueberry Bliss Control Jelly. Renpure! Renpure is a Marshalls brand. At least that's when I first discovered Renpure. And I was obsessed with Renpure. I bought everything Renpure. Um, they sent me some stuff. Um, they kept me stocked. And I love Renpure. I haven't used them in a very long time. I remember really loving the leave-in conditioner and the whipped leave-in conditioner, which is in the pink one. And of course, the curly jelly. This is like a really good summer gel. So if you struggle with Riz, try this guy out. It's so good. Um, yeah, there's Renpure. And then here we have Alakane Naturals, which I was also obsessed to try Alakane Natural. I've always seen them at Target, but for some reason their prices scared me away. I decided to try it out. I really want to try the avocado cream. I just got their stuff not too, too long ago, so I still have time to try it out. <laughs> um, but I want to try the avocado cream, but actually by the looks of it, it looks like I probably already tried it. It looks like it's used. So maybe I tried it. I don't really know. But here's Alake. Here we have Curlsmith, which also hooked me up, thankfully. And I really love their co-wash that I got two of the really big ones in Ulta when they first came out. Their co-wash is extremely creamy and you just need it in your collection. So if you see it, get it. It's a little pricey, but I promise you it's worth it. Um, so here is Curlsmith, a little bit more of leftover Shea Moisture. I think I have all of their lines except for like their newer lines. Um, but I'm pretty stocked with Shay. And then last but not least, we are here with African Pride. I got this at Curlbox. I used to have the Curlbox su subscription, but I canceled it because I was getting overwhelmed with all of the products that I was getting. So I canceled it, but this was one of the last things that came in, the African Pride collection, which I have not tried. Um, Garnier also came out with the three products. I got them. It's funny because I got them, didn't like them, returned them, and they still send it to me. Um, so I just have it here as well. Here is Curl Essence from Caracare. This is their new collection. I wanted to try it. Was so desperate to try it, and I still have not tried it. Amika is over here as well. I love, love, love their nourishing hair mask. It's one of those really great, thick, rich, creamy hair masks. Um, so I always have this in stock, and there's another one back there such such a good hair mask here we have pros which is a custom made hair brand you can create your own little cocktail and they tell you what you according to your hair's needs so i have that here as well last but not least a cure i don't really use this stuff i don't know why i have it on the shelf i need to give this away not interested in how it works really in my hair so i just kind of have it chilling there that was a lot of talking and i still have a couple more to show you guys Ugh, this video is so long. All right, let's finish. So in these drawers, I do have some backups of stuff that were sent. I have some on Jackie's. I have some 
um, Not Your Mother's. I have Cantu and of course a bunch of OGX stuff in here. Um, and here I have a whole bunch of other stuff as well. More more um, Sotanical stuff because you guys know I love Sotanicals. Um, OGX stuff. I got a couple OGX stuff as well. And just a bunch of like random little things. Mostly OGX and Sotanicals. Here I have, um, oh my god, I love this stuff so much. Here is um, Up North Naturals. I loved Up North Naturals so much that I asked her, I was like, hey, can I like have the big ones? Because I go through these things like crazy. So at the time, I was obsessed and she sent me um, the styling lotion, the hair milk, and the jelly, which I haven't tried in a very long time. So I need to go ahead and try it again. What else do we have here? Oh, here's the jelly from up north nachos here it is probably use this stuff like once or twice i still have it here but it works really good on my hair so i keep myself stocked and i think that's right, pretty much that concludes this video i know it was super long but you guys asked for it and i had to show you guys because you wanted to see it this is the stash this is what i have um if you've made it to the end please let me know because you must be the real product junkie to stay here and watch this entire video kudos to you um so definitely leave me a comment down below if you watched the entire thing i would love to know and yeah thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye